Hi, welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you all for tuning in today. We're out here at the sawmill and uh, we're looking to make some more improvements. So we got the XR3135 here. We're going to go ahead and clear some brush. We're going to try to make a lower access road below the sawmill to help with processing the slab wood and offcuts. So I think it's going to be a fun project and I wanted to bring you all along. So stick around and I hope you all enjoy. So while we're letting the tractor warm up, I figure I'll show you a little before action. We're going to push this old locust stump out. And then try to get the tractor in here to move this brush, shove it over the hill. This is on a slight slope here. Nothing I'm really concerned with as far as a tractor. But just to give you an idea, my plans, I've got to take out this maple tree. I'm basically going to cut a flat road in here, park my dump trailer or any of the IBC totes. That way I can run my conveyor system across through here, cut the slabs and they're gonna slide down into the dump trailer. Got some big stumps in there I gotta push over the hill that we dug out uh, while making the sawmill shed. A couple of nice elm and a big cherry. And then uh, I think we're gonna have to cut down a couple of these little ones two in the end will probably be able to stay let's get to it I would normally put the grapple one for this but since we're going to be moving uh, dirt shortly after we push that brush pile I want to try to do it with the bucket So these stumps still have a lot of dirt packed in them. They're real heavy there. I figured, you know what, it'd be best probably, instead of using the loader here, taking weight off my front end on this slope, I might as well turn around and use the backhoe. Made this job a lot easier.
All right, so now that we've gotten all the stumps moved to the spot where I can turn around and push them over the hill a little bit more, we're gonna go ahead and do that with the loader. So now that we use the back code to get us a level plane there to start on, we're going to go ahead and do some grading here with the loader and continue to move the dirt back to the beginning there and do a little backfill. Well, that was uh, a lot easier than I was expecting. So we went ahead, as you saw in the beginning, we took the back go, and we tried to make a, a level plane uh, to get the rear of the tires on nice and level, then we could do the loader and keep that grade going into the hillside here. But, uh, oop, found yellow jackets. They don't look very happy.
First ones of the year, all right. Anyways, we gotta take care of them first, and then we're gonna cut down some of these trees and uh, keep the road going. I might take it actually on around and come out over there, then I could do a drive through. That would be really nice. See if you can see them here. Must have buried their buddies. They don't look very happy. Which is tough because now I can't get rid of them until I find out uh, where they're going. So realistically, if you're wanting to make a proper road, you'd want to take off the top soil down to the clay and uh, really spend some time to make it nice. However, this is just going to be a little utility road so I can get the tractor in there, either pick up a uh, IBC tote or I might uh, make a pass through where I could drive my dump trailer, load it up with the processed wood and pull it on through. But anyways, we took from the hillside basically, pushed it to the lower end, and then, uh, you know, as time goes on and we drive on it and we settle, I might have to add some more in, do some better grading. But uh, for a nice quick start, we're looking pretty good. And we're about eight foot below grade of the sawmill, which is going to be nice for a, uh, where I can, I'm basically thinking, put the roller table up there, cut the wood and have some sort of slide style right into the bed of the dump trailer. All right, everyone. Well, I thank you all for coming along for this project. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a lot of fun. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do left on it, and uh, I'll be sure to bring you all along for that as well. If you like these videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you share our, our videos. It really helps the channel out. And uh, subscribe if you're not yet. Hope to see you all. Comment below. Give me some feedback, and we'll see you on our next video. Y'all take care.